Hello and welcome to the Certification of Competency in Business Analysis, CCBA, certification course offered by Simply Learn. This introductory lesson will give a brief account of the CCBA certification and its objectives. This certification course is designed for individuals with widespread knowledge of business analysis. Certified individuals are proficient in recognizing the needs of a business so that the most applicable solution can be identified and implemented. Since the first certification exam in business analysis took place in November 2006, the importance of it to organizations has increased manifold. In this course, all aspects of this certification exam will be dealt with in detail. Let us begin by looking into the agenda of the lesson in the next slide. The Certification of Competency in Business Analysis, CCBA, designation is a professional certification for individuals with some business analysis experience. This course covers the basic skill sets required by business analyst BA professionals based on the industry-recognized standards and benchmarks, such as Institute of Business Analysis, IIBA, a guide to the business analysis body of knowledge, BABIC guide, and other industry best practices. The course also provides exposure to BA concepts, which helps professionals apply the knowledge gained during the program. In the next slide, we will find out the learning objectives of this course. In this lesson, we will get an overview of the Certification of Competency in Business Analysis, CCBA, training course. We will then move on to the exam prerequisites. Additionally, we will find out the value of CCBA to professionals and organizations. We will look into the CCBA exam pattern. Finally, we will move on to understand about this tutorial, practice questions, and sampled exams, and reference material. Let us find out the prerequisites of the exam in the next slide. To get the CCBA certification, there are certain requirements to be met by a professional. The business analyst should have at least 3,750 hours of relevant experience in the BA field spanning over the last seven years. The individual should also have more than 900 hours in at least two of the six core BAVIC guide knowledge areas, or 500 hours in at least four of the six core BAVIC guide knowledge areas. High school is the minimum educational qualification required by the professional. The individual should have had 21 hours of professional development in the last four years. Additionally, the individual would require two references from a career manager, client, or CBAP. Finally, the individual would require a signed code of conduct. Moving on, let us understand the value of CCBA to professionals. CCBA is one of the rapidly growing professional courses with an increasing number of people trying to understand its value. An individual with CCBA certification will add more value to an organization. It will also open prospects for growth and new job avenues. CCBA assists an individual to demonstrate knowledge of the skills necessary to be an effective business analyst. It helps him in developing a professional level of competence in the principles and practices of business analysis. The individual will be able to participate in a recognized professional group. The certified person will also be recognized for competence by professional peers and management. It aids the individual to advance his career potential by creating a separate and distinct path within the information technology industry and business community. He will also be able to demonstrate dedication to the business analysis profession. In the next slide, we will look into the value of CCBA to the organization. Professionals who are CCBA certified bring a myriad of values to an organization. The major benefits of hiring such professionals are that they are acknowledged as competent individuals who perform a role which is increasingly recognized as a vital component of any successful project. CCBAs can be identified as individuals with an advanced level of knowledge and qualifications. Additionally, they follow established standards as outlined in the IIBA BAVIC Guide. Finally, they produce reliable quality results with increased efficiency and consistency. Let us next look into the exam pattern of this certification. 
The duration of the certification exam is three and a half hours. Although the exam questions are majorly based on the BAPIC guide, it is not the only source. The score required to qualify is based on a CUT score, which is determined with the aid of a psychometric procedure. The exam pattern will include 150 questions. Some of the questions, for example, definitions, recall-related questions, etc., are based on comprehension. There are other questions, for example, given a scenario, which is the best course of action, that are based on situational analysis. They would require performing an analysis to arrive at the answer. It is to be noted that the IIBA certification body will not publicly reveal the cut score or the pass rate for any exam. Raw scores are normalized to a standard scale. 500 is the minimum score needed to pass, not the maximum possible score, and is mentioned in the failed exam result. We will focus on the information about this tutorial in the next slide. This course is categorized into nine lessons. The first lesson will introduce us to CCBA. In the second lesson, we will find out how to perform BA planning and monitoring. Elicitation is dealt with in detail in the third lesson. The fourth lesson is on requirements management and communication. Enterprise analysis and requirements analysis cover the fifth and sixth lessons respectively. We will then look into solution assessment and validation. Lesson 8 discusses underlying competencies. Finally, a review of business analysis techniques is in Lesson 9. To help the professionals grasp the concept, a copy of the BAVIC guide and quizzes are provided at the end of each lesson. Additionally, there are two sets of test papers, which will help candidates in preparing for the certification exam. Let us discuss the practice questions in the next slide. Quiz questions are provided at the end of each lesson to check participants' understanding. Practice test papers from IIBA are also provided. They indicate how CCBA questions could be presented in the exam. However, they should not be used as a sole source of knowledge. Practice questions may or may not be similar to the questions that will appear in the actual exam. However, these questions will help the candidates revisit the topics covered in the lesson. The practice test paper questions should not be considered as a measure of the candidate's ability to answer questions correctly in the exam. Actual exam questions will test the candidate's practical application of the knowledge. The IIBA website contains valuable information on the CCBA exam. The URL of the websites for different reference materials is listed on the slide. Wish you all the best for the course. In the next lesson, we will be introduced to CCBA.